creating greater results isn't always about working harder. Hi, I'm Stacey Berger here with Mastering Your Mindset. I am passionate about you living a life that you love. If you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for new content every Wednesday. I want to read you something from this great little book called You Squared by Price Pritchett, and I think it's something that most of us can relate to. He says, I am listening to the desperate sounds of a life or death struggle going on a few feet away. There's a small fly burning out the last of its short life's energies in a futile attempt to fly through the glass of the window pane. The whining wings tell the poignant story of the fly strategy, try harder. But it's not working. The frenzied effort offers no hope for survival. Ironically, the struggle is part of the trap. It is impossible for the fly to try hard enough to succeed at breaking through the glass. Nevertheless, this little insect has staked its life on reaching its goal through the raw effort and determination. This fly is doomed. It will die there on the windowsill. Across the room, just 10 steps away, the door is open. 10 seconds of flying time and this small creature could reach the outside world it seeks. With only a fraction of the effort now being wasted, it could be free of the self-imposed trap. The breakthrough possibility is there. It would be so easy. Why doesn't the fly try another approach, something dramatically different? How did it get so locked in on the idea that this particular route and determined effort offer the most promise for success? What logic is there in continuing until death to seek a breakthrough with more of the same? Has trying harder been your mode of operation? I know certainly that's something that was instilled in me is work hard, put lots of effort. It's with working hard that you get ahead. And if that were true, there would be millions of people that would be way further ahead on their own. And yes, as we're working towards our goals and producing a new result, there's effort that is required, but working harder isn't always the answer. So how can you achieve your goals with less effort? So if it's not just effort that's required, and oftentimes we, like that fly, we get so stuck in a certain way of trying to do something that we can't see just a few feet away, there's an easier way to accomplish things. So here's three things that you can do to make life easier where you're not in that struggle pattern and it's not just about working harder and putting more effort in. So number one is having a clearly defined goal and being in love with it. How in love are you with the thing that you're working so hard to accomplish? Make sure that that effort is going towards something that you have what Napoleon Hill would call a burning desire for. So having a clear vision that you are in love with. Number two, once you have that clearly defined vision is to focus on how is it going to feel when you accomplish that? What will it smell like? What will it taste like? What will, what will you be hearing when you're living that life? And the more that you can come from that vision and imagine yourself using all of your senses inside that vision, you're matching the frequency. And when you're aligned with that frequency, you create this magnetic pull towards achieving that, which it really activates the law of attraction, where all of a sudden, out of the blue, you meet the right person at a networking event, or out of the blue, you get an email from an organization that's in alignment with what it is that you're working towards. So having that clear vision, focusing on the feeling, and point three is take the path of least resistance, where that tendency is to work harder, dig in deeper, Oftentimes what that creates is this resistance. And if you can think about if you had a garden hose and you kink that garden hose and the water can only get maybe a trickle or not through that at all, oftentimes that's what efforting does. It creates that kink and doesn't allow the flow to towards us, the flow in and out. So how do we release those kinks? Is by taking the path of least resistance. 
and sometimes that feels if you have the the paradigm and the belief system just work harder um, no pain no gain it's got to take a lot of effort by relaxing that asking yourself the question what if it were easy what would be my best next step here and sometimes it's the easy and the most simplest ones that create the greatest traction because there's less resistance. It allows us to open ourselves up and have that good flow to us. So unkinking that hose where you've got that resistance within you. So have a clear vision. How is it going to feel when you reach that vision? And then where do I have my kinks in the hose or that resistance and how can I ease that up by taking the most, the path of least resistance? So there are three keys on how to move away from the hard effort. So unlike that fly, you can see the doorway to, to your freedom and to your goals. If this served you, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to our channel, and here is to your success. Einstein said so brilliantly, match the frequency of the reality you want and it must happen. It can be no other way.